Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a slow class. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breath. Relax the body. Calm the mind. Focusing on your own practice. When you inhale through the nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Staying calm and relaxed here. Couple more breath. And we'll slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up. Above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through the nose and deep, deep exhale through the nose. We never hold our breath. Two more, inhale your arms up, reach for the sky. Exhale down. One last one, inhale your arms up, big, big stretch. Exhale down. Hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck, next ear to shoulder. You can either use the same hand to dive support the head. Extend the other arm out, or you can wrap that arm around your waist. Lengthening the side of your neck. No need to rush. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here and we're going to repeat on the other side. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to dive support the head. You can either extend the opposite arm out or wrap that arm around your waist. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and exhale to open up the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Know your range of motion. Inhale to come back to center. Take a breath here. Lifting the chin up, looking up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here and we're going to look at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And now we're going to look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here, shoulder strap, right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Pull back, feel the stretch in your shoulder joint and be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues or any issues at all. Now we slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide that or tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. And don't worry if you're not able to do that. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up, repeat on the other side, arm up and across, pull back. Create resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders like appellate, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up long heart chest. Improving your posture. Oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Continue to oil the shoulder joint. Change direction, go the other way. Big, big circular motion.
Slowly cow back to center. We're gonna inhale the arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale when you come to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm is crescent moon. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Good length in the side of your body. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale when you go to the other side, bending the lower arm. Top arm is crescent moon. Slowly, slowly come back to center to lengthen. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, bring the back hand behind your spine. Using the front hand and your exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more, turning the neck to, holding it here. For three, two, and one, slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, looking on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Using the front hand and your exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Be mindful not to pull a back muscle or a neck muscle. Holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands to the thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into torso turn, shoulder roll. So, starting out a small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Starting on a small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. Slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale. Hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Forward bend. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders are relaxed. Neck and spine in one straight line. Chin is away from the body. Continue to lengthen the spine. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly walking the heads back. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. So inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. And your own breath, and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between water breaks. Can counsel help you with relieve back pain? Two more times. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. One last one. Inhale to cat. Exhale to cat. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral spine, sway side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale in the center, exhale to open up the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together, and let the left hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more side, inhale, center, exhale. 
to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straight side to side, release tension in your wrist. Right knee down, left knee up, hip height, open shut, fly a hybrid five times. Bring it up to where you're comfortable. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. After you've done five times, slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Left knee down, right knee up. Open, close five times. Fire hydrant. Slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side, release tension in your wrist. Right knee down, left knee up. Bottom of your foot towards the sky. Push the sky away. Donkey kick for five. Slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Left knee down, right knee up, bottom of your foot towards the sky, pushing the sky away for five. Slowly, slowly release, straight side to side. Right knee down, left leg up, straight leg. Pause it up and down here for a few times. Firming up your glutes. Neck and spine in one straight line. And slowly, slowly release. Straight side to side. And repeat on the other side. Left knee down, right leg up, straight leg. Pulsing it up and down here. Firming up your butt, straight leg. And slowly, slowly release. Turn the fingers towards you. Palm down if you can. Now we're gonna sit back. Stretching out the wrist, holding it here for three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to get ready to stand up. So from neutral tabletop, tuck your toes, we're going to be doing down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Walking it all out by alternating bending the knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly, slowly walk towards the hands. Coming into a forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front legs I have with. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below the heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. Holding it here for three, two, and one, we're going to take our time to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to the flat back. Exhale, to slowly, slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Rise up, two, standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you've come all the way up, we're going to go back, bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Shoulders on top of hips. Up pushing the hip forward. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades. Opening up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up. Stretching the front of your neck. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Soft knees. Don't lock your knees. Now we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into a crescent moon. Now, ten toes face in the front. Inhale your arms up, palm touch, release index finger, grow tall. Exhale with the bend towards the right side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. 
lengthening the side of your body. Inhale, center, lengthen, exhale, we go to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body. Stimulating meridian points, echoing to point in the side of the body. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale to the right, release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly, slowly come back up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, we go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm suppress the room. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. I'm down, first side. Shake it up, alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Relieve any tension that you may have. Loosen up, increase flexibility, mobility in your shoulder joints. Now we'll change direction. Slowly, slowly come back to center and release. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So we're going to listen to our body always to avoid injuries. Inhale, your arms up. Palm touch. Back bend. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to your flat. Hands on chin. Eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. The kidneys can drop to your knees. Tap your elbow by your side. You can bend. Immediately slide up to cobra for more location. Or up dog. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking up. Exhale. You fall back on your knees. Tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a nap dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Mid all index finger facing forward. Stepping your feet, two feet apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your gaze by your inner arms, eyes, and look at your toes. Now we look between the hands. We can start walking forward towards the hands to where you start. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up. Other salute. Palm touch. Back bend. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step a hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Not sagging, not sticking your butt up. Slowly come down. Reverse push up. Elbow tuck by your side. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Side breath here. Good solid foundation. Lifting the hips high, high up. Upside down, let it be. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into a low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. So if you need knee support, place your knee pad underneath your left knee. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding on to your ball. Shoulders relax down from the ears. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Eyes looking up. Place the hands together. Release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back, bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath here. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly release. Left hand on the mat. Right arm up. Reach and stretch. Looking up. Slowly, 
slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip wall. Slowly come back to center. Getting ready for the twisted dragon. Bending into the back leg. Inhale the right arm up. You can either wrap the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh, or you can reach for the back foot. Coming into a twisted dragon. Be mindful of anyone who has any wrist, elbow, shoulder, or knee issues. Do what you can today to chant yourself. Don't push yourself beyond your limits. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top ankle, getting ready for the twist. So we're going to turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn a little bit of top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale the left arm up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding onto any part of the left for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. We will repeat everything on the other side. So take your time to rise up. So now we have right knee down, left leg forward. Front knee is 90 degree on top ankle. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up. Holding on to your bum. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Eyes open up so you don't have to arch the neck back. Five breath for each pose. Place the hands together, release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into the twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Turn a little bit about, stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Right hand on the mat. Left arm up, reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot. Rocking forward, back, or side to side to open up the left hip more. Now we're going to get ready for the twisted dragon. Lay hand down, left knee up. If you just want to wrap the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh, go ahead. If you want to grab a hold of the back foot, and we're going to come to a twist. So be mindful if you have wrist, elbow, shoulder, or knee issues. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Holding it here for three, two, 
and one slowly, slowly release. Hands on that. Heel toe, heel toe, walking left and back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. So we're going to turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Feel free to come up on the back toes, lifting the heel high, high up. Open up the arms for more resistance if you like. Any variation you like to chant us out. Slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat. For hamstring stretch, come sit down. Point your left toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale the right arm up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to any part of the length of the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale the length of the exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly rise up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Come into the start pose. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Shoulders are relaxed. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knees. When you're ready, we'll go into a double leg forward then. So we we'll inhale the arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Place your hands will be beyond the feet, holding on to the end of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Inhale to pick up. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Coming into the seated twist, right leg straight, left leg bend. Bring it on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, pray hands, any variation. So we're going to inhale to be there, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and open the side of the body. Slowly, slowly, pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. And we're going to get ready for the seated twist on the other side. So we're going to bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. And if you like, you can bend the body. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Front arm can be stop sign head, prayer has any variation. So we're going to inhale to be there. Exhale to twist. Stretching our lower back muscles, helping you to relieve back pain. Massaging internal organs, helping you to relieve constipation. And we're stretching the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, calcutrous. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and opening, the side of the body. Slowly, slowly, pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs, arms a few times. We're gonna to continue with seated poses. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle. 
rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a bell fly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Slowly come back to center, draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe the entire feet. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding it, then we're gonna hinge, leading with the chest. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to come to a Thomas. So we're going to slide the feet as an interest in front of you. This is longer than it is wide. And we're going to slide the hand underneath to get, grab a hold of your feet. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold, head to feet. This is a more intensive stretch of the inner thighs, outer thighs, opening up the hip joint. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, sliding the head back out from underneath. We're gonna reach the white wrist, so we're gonna keep the knees bent, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet, and we're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off, hip release, hip opener. If you find that you have very tight hip, very stiff, windshield wiper is a good one to do. And you can also do this lying down on your back. Now, when you're ready, we're gonna drop both knee to the right side. Forming a 90, 90 degree, make sure the bus stay down. You should feel the stretch here, watch the step hip joint, looking at the opposite side, not leaning back too much, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly come back to center, wind should wipe a few more times, hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the other side. Forming a 90, 90 degree, you can adjust the angle, but make sure to stay down because if you lift the hip up, you're not going to feel the stretch here. Quarter side, hip joint, looking at the opposite side. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, where you should work a few times. Hip release, hip opener. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Coming into a wide leg. Use the length of your mat. Ankles on your mat. When you're ready, we can go into a wide leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, now hinge forward, leaning with the chest, hinging from the hips. Hands in front of you, bending now as we're not reaching forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale. Keep rolling the hip forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up. Right finger hooking onto the right toes, bring the toes to you, bending elbows. The other arm up, bridge and stretch. 
After you have lengthened, slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. If you like, you can release the bottom arm. Feel the length of the side of your body. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Don't pull a muscle. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So I'm going to fold the other leg that we're not using. Inhale, your arms up to length and the spine. Exhale, and turn the body to the straight leg. Holding on to any part of earth, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking at toes. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Then the chest, we're not doing that to me. Make sure your neck and spine are in one straight line. Not rounding the back, dropping the head or become a hunchback. And if you have very tight hamstring, slightly bend the knees. And we're gonna be holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly walking up. Now we're gonna walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose, grounding the straight leg. Spread the finger on this side, so wrist, elbow, shoulder line, internal rotation, eye of the elbow. When you're ready, use your strong core thumb and muscle to lift the hip off the ground, top arm up, shoulders back on top of each other, looking up, holding it here for three, two, and one, take your time to rise up. This hand on the straight leg. The other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly release. Then we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So we're gonna come back to a wide leg. Grab a hold of the big toes. If you cannot touch the toes, hold on to any part of the legs or release the hands. Bending now, elbows, small room to come down. The other arm up, reach and stretch. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. If you like, can release the bottom arm. More room to fold. Stretching the side of your body. Make sure you don't pull a muscle. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, wrapping the top arm around the waist, reach for the opposite thigh, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Holding it here for three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up. Now we do a forward bend on this leg, so we're gonna fold the leg that we are not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, now we're gonna turn the body towards this leg, holding on to any part of the leg, foot, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking at toes, not rounding the back or dropping the head. The entire unit has to come down. So inhale, prepare, exhale, fold. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly rise up, walking the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, grounding the straight leg. Wrist. Elbow, shoulder line in one straight line. Make sure the eye of elbow is in internal rotation. Use your strong core abdomen muscle to lift the hip up, top arm up, reach for the sky. Couple more breaths here. And we're slowly pushing ourselves back up. This hand on the same leg, the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Couple more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Take your time to come sit down, straighten out the legs, answer a few times. So we're gonna get ready to come lie down on our back, going to reclining poses. So if you need water, have a sip of water first. Take your time to come lie down on your back. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back, thumb down by your side, chin to chest. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. Let your body get used to lying on its back. 
and we're going to go into the bridge pose. So if you need to squeeze the block, go ahead, place the block between your thigh. So this is two fists apart, the wood, walk the heel, close your fingertips, press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hip up, forming a bridge, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Neutral spine, we're not pushing the hip forward. Engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadricep and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your thumb in tight, your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Inhale up, exhale, we're going to slowly release the spine back down on the mat. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. We're strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. Now we're at the arms. Inhale to lift the hip up, arms up above the head, fingernails on the floor, cactus arms are fine. Exhale to lower the arms and the hip back. Keep going. A few more rounds. When you come up, the chain is always touching the chest. Stimulating thyroid leg. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. So if you have a block, you can remove your block and we're going to winch your wipe by dropping the knees from one side to the other side. So let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mouth. Hips can come off. Hip release, hip open it. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Come into leg lift, point the left toes up to the ceiling, slowly lift the right leg up, using abdominal muscles, hands behind the right kneecap. Feel free to bend the left knee to support your back, and we're going to point and flex the right foot. Ankle exercise. Strengthening the ankle joints so it's not so easy as to bend fall, then twist your ankle. And now we're going to draw a circle in the sky. Change direction, go the other way. Sliding the hand further up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The longer you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch to pull a hamstring. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly release the head down, arm down by your side. Nice and slow of control. You know, release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce a few times. Now we repeat everything on the other side. So point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the left kneecap, feel free to bend the right knee to support your back. And we're going to do ankle stretch on the other side. Point and flex, reduce firmness, increase flexibility, mobility in your ankle joint. And now we'll draw a circle in the sky. Change direction, go the other way. Sliding the hand through up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The longer you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly release the head down, arm down by your side. Nice and slow control. We're going to release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce a few times. Now press firmly on the mat, double leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. 
Flex the feet, let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness, increase your immunity level, improve your digestion and sleep quality. Now we're gonna open up the legs in the big B, stretching the inner thighs. When you're ready, we're gonna scissor the legs. One time in front, one time behind. Nice and slow. You don't have to go fast and you don't have to go big. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly bring the legs together. We're gonna to do three rounds of leg lift. Firming up your abdominal muscles. When you're ready, first round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it. Bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now don't drop it. When your legs are one feet off the ground, just stay here. Firming up the abdominal muscles, your entire leg, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release everything down, bounce it a few times. Now we're releasing on the right side. Wrap your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging arm is on the right side as far as ascending colon. So anytime you feel bloated, constipated, wing releasing would be a good one to do. Point the left toes up to the ceiling so both legs are working. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the right hip joint. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Coming into a spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close as force possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side, your neck is good. So we're stretching, strengthening, toning lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, we slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Now point the right toes up to the ceiling and we're gonna repeat when releasing on the left leg. Wrap your arms around the left knee. Draw close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending cold. And from here, we're going to transition to spinal twist. So left foot on right thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the foot as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Left arm out can be on the floor or on your mat. Those who want to try the cat holding the tail. Opposite hand, grab her opposite foot. Make sure shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body is still on the mat. Turn over the left side if your neck is stiff. Holding it here for three. Two and one. Slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. 
Bend both knees, grab your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering your big area. Massage your lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Draw the feet together. Coming into a reclining bound angle. Draw the feet close to the chest, a little bit of discomfort. As we open up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs, outer thighs. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. And we're just going to wish your wife for a few times. Hip release, hip opener, release any tension that you may have. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. And now we're going to place the sole of our feet together. Come into the bound ankle pose. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in the lower back. Arm down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes. Slowing down the heartbeat. Getting ready for relaxation. I'll be guiding you to Shavasana so you can have your legs apart as wide as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax your jaws. Step at your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body, see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety. Anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Stay here very calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment, in your own little world. Couple more breath here. And we're going to slowly wake up the body by working your fingers and your toes. Rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck, left and right. Bring the legs together, point your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale. And down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes. Big, big stretch. Rib cage rising. Exhale. And down by your side. Bend both knees. Raise the right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body. Coming into a fetus position. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Now we're going to surrender, so we're going to interlace the finger. Gently place it behind your head, pull forward, 
Release tension at the back of your neck. Creating spaces between C2 and C7. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Big, big hug. Love yourself always. Grab your arms around you. Now you can stay here. You can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the palm. You end up with the palm facing the nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming your L shape. Slide back, bend if you can. Slowly release, big, big hug on the other side, wrap your arms around you. Now you can stay here. You can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the palm. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from you. Forming an L shape. Slide back bend if you can. Slowly, slowly release to close the practice. Bring your hands to heart center. So, thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.